Today in Egypt, tens of thousands of people returned to Tahrir Square to demonstrate against the country's ruling military council and to call for a civilian government. Protesters also rallied in the port city of Alexandria, site of a military base. The public outpouring comes ahead of parliamentary elections scheduled to begin later this month. FSRN's David Enders reports from Cairo. The Supreme Council of the Armed Forces has ruled Egypt since the removal of dictator Hosni Mubarak in February. Although parliamentary elections are scheduled for November 28th, many Egyptians are skeptical the Military Council, also known as SCAF, intends to turn over power to a civilian government. Anger has mounted in past weeks over proposals for the drafting of a new constitution. The cabinet appointed by military rulers in August has proposed a process that would give the Supreme Council power to appoint most of the committee to draft the constitution, as well as veto power over any decisions made by the new government, leading many Egyptians to conclude elections might matter little. The demonstration began to build on Thursday evening, as families of those killed and injured during the demonstrations that deposed Hosni Mubarak earlier this year began to erect tents in the square. The Muslim Brotherhood's Freedom and Justice Party, which appears to be the most popular and best organized party ahead of the elections, supported the demonstration, and it appeared that many of their candidates were present. One of those was Ibrahim Abu Auf. There is a demonstration today because the Egyptian people had a revolution on January 25th, and we are here for the people who were injured and killed in the revolution. There were 1,000 martyrs and 10,000 injured. Mubarak was deposed, but things are just like they were in Mubarak's time, or worse. The Supreme Council has said presidential elections would not be held until 2013, which appears to be widely rejected by Egyptians. The military-appointed Deputy Prime Minister Ali al-Silmi has overseen the drafting of the document that would outline how the army transitions power. Abdullah Yehya, who brought his family to the demonstration, was among the tens of thousands already in the square by early afternoon. We came today because we reject the proposals of Selmi and we need to return to the revolution and have the people make the decisions. We are asking the military council to transfer power and to hold the parliamentary elections and the presidential elections. The people need a parliament and a president they have chosen. As of late afternoon, demonstrators continued to arrive and it appeared the military council and the Ministry of Interior had made good on a promise to keep security forces out of Tahrir, though it was unclear what might happen if attempts are made to reoccupy the area. Twice in the last 10 months, demonstrators have occupied Tahrir, only to eventually be forced out by security forces. More than 12,000 Egyptians have faced military trials since March, another issue that drove demonstrators to the square. One was Mohammed Abu Hashem al shakawi who noted that the military initially said it would rule for six months before extending its own mandate. We are asking the military council to hand over power to civilians. We need a civilian government, not a military government. The atmosphere of calm in Tahrir was a contrast to the violence that has continued to mark demonstrations that take place regularly across the country. Earlier this week, the military shot at least one demonstrator in Damietta, in the Nile Delta, north of Cairo. At least 30 people were injured during a march on Thursday to mark 40 days since the killing of protesters in front of Egypt's state television building by the Egyptian army. The march was attacked by pro-government demonstrators before riot police intervened. This is David Enders, FSRN, Cairo.